All right, so check this out. Um, <clears throat> trying something new in war because it was towards the end and we just needed to clear some teams. Um, I used my 320 power armor team versus 166k red skull, and it actually worked pretty well. Uh, obviously, it's an overwhelming kill. Uh, this was about twice the power of the Red Skull team, but it is important to know because I've seen a lot of these smaller Red Skull teams at the end of uh, war, and it's hard to figure out what to use first. Um, so check this out. We have basically a, a, trip, a typical setup from what I've seen in war is guard on the right with Red Skull next to him, and then we have uh, some combination of the other three on this side. Now, to me, I saw this from the war window and I was thinking, hey, this is perfect for uh, power armor because what I'll do first is target these three on the side with the uh, war machine uh, special. So check it out. I do have it tier four, so it's going to hit four times and it almost took out trooper as well, but there's two charges right off the bat knocked out. And so they both died because they're kind of low, uh, but if nothing else, it would throw taunts on them. So the taunt from guard wouldn't really matter. But then the next move uh, you'll see here. So uh, we do a vision ability block. Now I'm doing it on guard so that he never gets a chance to taunt right now. And since he's right next to Red Skull, it prevents the Red Skull ult from going off on this turn. So this is also very advantageous for the current version of Power Armor. Now they got some buffs out there because they get revived and they all get death proofs from that. Uh, so we get a little bit more turn meter out of it. And we got uh, Iron Man's special or basic. Um, I opted for just the basic right here because I wanted to save the special for when I need to clear a lot of the uh, summon minions. And uh, then they go to town, they start hitting people left and right. Uh, they put a taunt on War Machine, which was pretty lucky for me because he's my strongest character on this team. Now we got the War Machine ult to uh, do some damage here. And uh, you'll see. <laughs> It'll uh, blow away two of them, so there's two more. But this other guy, he lost his last death proof. This dude's down to one death proof. Um, so we're doing pretty good here. And what this does is this sets up the Falcon ult. Now, the Falcon ult has a special move where whenever a t an enemy that it hits is buffed, it does another tap. So when it comes to knocking off death proofs, uh, it's very effective at doing so. And so you'll see here it hits for a lot of damage. And then the two tap kills three of them and knocks the last death proof off this uh, Hydra Armored Guard. So that was really, really good, too. Uh, that's a lot of hits. We're down to one charge already, and we're not even a minute into the fight. Then we come with the vision ult, and we remove all their buffs. And then we start blowing them away. And now all the charges are gone, and this is easy cleanup. So granted, this is rather overwhelming power, um, but with the two-turn defense up on spawn with vision, uh, I think this makes it a little bit viable for maybe a 200k kill to a 300k power armor team, maybe a 100k punch down, uh, which may be important at the end of war. Um, power armor's kind of be getting phased out a little bit, in my opinion. They've uh, lost a lot of their relevance with some of the changes that have been made. And so um, this is a possible use for them to take out you know a much lower hydra team without too much trouble and so i'll definitely be trying this again with a much stronger enemy uh when i get the chance and uh see how it goes and i mean until we get ironheart you know power armor's a little bit uh nerfed <laughs> they used to be really good for taking out like marauders for instance uh but depending on who the fifth is in that marauders team it can be a challenge uh just because you don't get to remove all the buffs with vision before war machines alt and and that you know makes it a little different i used to use them to kill as guardians in big punch-ups after getting rid of the hella alt and the uh, loki special um that worked really well with big punch-ups i think i posted some of those videos with the sack first um you know they had a lot of utility but they've lost a little bit of that with the war machine change unfortunately so we'll see i think ironheart will be here soon and so we should be able to use her then but i just want to show this and kind of walk through what i'm doing and why and uh show you that you know that's actually a really really good counter for now when you need to clean up small teams at the end of war